On the eastern shore of Maryland, there's a rare, protected herd of wild horses that roam free and draw lots of attention. Now, get a look at a wild Mustang that represents a whole different kind of horsepower. This is a 1953 Massey Harris Mustang, owned by Spencer and Newell Everett. It's called a model Mustang. It has a model number, which is a 23. This was the uh, successor to the Massey Harris 22. So uh, this is a Mustang. Uh, Massey Harris made uh, what I always refer to as the four horses, the pony, the pacer, the coat, and the Mustang. And this is the largest of the four utility type tractors. It's not all that common. The most we ever saw was in Ohio um, at a national Massey show, and they had five, and that was the most I've ever seen at one show. The Everett brothers grew up in a Massey Harris family. Their father bought several Masseys for use around the family farm, including this mighty Mustang. It was bought brand new by our father in 1953 from a local dealership uh, up in Suttlersville, Maryland, W.W. W. Montag. Uh, at the time, Daddy bought this. That made us three Masseys on our farm, uh, 244s that we did the basic heavy work with, plowing, working ground, etc. cetera. Uh, this was more of a, a utility tractor uh, for drills and planters and rakes and wagons and cultivators. After their father passed away, Spencer and Newell decided they wanted to fix up the Mustang and get it running and looking like new. Mom was after us to get it out of the shed because after Daddy died, it just sat in the shed. It wasn't pretty, it was rusty. Uh, one of the side panels was missing. It was pretty rough shape. We could never find the left side panel when we drug it out of the shed. The good news was after 15 years, the motor was not frozen. It was rusty. Uh, needed some parts replaced, obviously the side panels. It went down to bare bones, sandblasted down, primed, and then started painting and putting back together. So we're very happy with it. The Mustang was fully restored and delivered as a surprise at church one chilly Sunday morning, looking just like new. This made in America tractor was built in Racine, Wisconsin and it features a 140 cubic inch Continental flathead engine. The tractor is rated at about 24 horsepower, so it wasn't a big puller. But on the Everett family dairy farm, it got plenty of work back in the day. Drives about like it did 58 years ago when it was new. I, as far as I can remember, I have trouble remembering that long ago now. Had a dairy farm, milked about 60 cows, but we just love this tractor. The velvet ride seat was an option, uh, probably $25 to $30 extra, but uh, compared to the, just the flat bar seat, this, uh, it, it was better than what most had at the time. And certainly when you're in a, a rough hay field or something like that, uh, it, it saved a lot. Now we usually had a seat cushion in there as well, which helped uh, make some of the days not quite as long. And it, if you notice, the seats offset just a little bit so that when you were cultivating, you had a good view right down this right side. So you, so you spent your morning and afternoons on looking down that right side of the tractor to keep your, try to keep yourself in line in the cornfield anyway. The muffler system on this is a little unique. Uh, both the Mustang model and the Colt model had a, had a muffler that, that the tailpipe went down underneath. The muffler's actually up under here. There's a baffle plate here which keeps this from getting so hot and blistering the paint. Used to concern me sometimes in the hay field or the straw field whether ever a spark would come out of here. We were very fortunate we never had that happen with us on the farm. No more field work for this magnificent Mustang. It's been put out to pasture. It now spends the majority of its time inside this custom designed trailer as the Everett's haul it to parades and tractor shows around the area. We have uh, decals on the side now that show both the right and left side of the tractor on each side of the trailer. Get a lot of comments. Uh, if I stop and get a tank of gas or something somewhere, people always want to see or know what's inside. We go to a lot of shows and just meeting a lot of people and being able to tell our story to the people that um, are interested, which are quite a few. And uh, we do have a photo album from the time it was taken out of the shed and how it looked then and um, the gentleman that did the work on it took pictures as he went along so we've got a real good photo album. 
on a weekend, a lot of times I'd get the tractor out and set it at the end of the driveway or something like that. And people stop and take pictures. And my wife would say, what are you doing? And I'd say, I'm having a one tractor tractor show. So uh, again, just fun and games. We love to do parades. Uh, belong to a tractor club up in Delaware. We have a tractor ride each year. We go out in the community and it brings people out of their houses and they cheer and clap and wave. And, and it makes you, it's a feel good. It's a feel good. It's pretty clear the Everett brothers enjoy their shiny red Mustang. The memories they have of using it on the farm and the fun they have with the family tractor still today. I told a friend of mine that collects Fords and I uh, told him I had a 53 Mustang convertible. And he went on talking for a little bit and about five minutes later he said, they didn't make Mustangs in 53. So I said, yeah, I got one. So went on and told my story a little bit to him too. So that was, that was a good feeling. Family history, family recollections, uh, but it's not just Newell and I, it's, it's our whole family. Our nephew, uh, my sister's son, uh, got married on, on uh, my sister and her husband's farm and asked if they could have the tractor for the wedding. So we've got a picture of our nephew and his bride sitting here on the tractor. So all of those things add up. Kind of brings back memories of being home on the farm when I was growing up as a kid. We did it to honor our father for one thing, and uh, it's really been fun. Thank you for catching Classic Tractor Fever. We've got more Massey to share, so be sure to check out these other great stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep more Classic Tractor Fever rolling.